Welcome back students as I told that the question from the concept of scales is said to be a gunshot question that may be a plane scale or a diagonal scale. Before going to work out as few students were raised how to identify whether it is a plane scale or a diagonal scale I have done earlier few videos please go through it and I am going to give you a clear idea here like what are the things to be taken into consideration and note when a problem of scale is given I am not going to give you detailed explanation about the scales here I am going to give you only highlighted inputs to recognize how uh, uh, the scale is whether the scale is a plane or a diagonal. As I told dear student, there are two types of scales, a plane scale and a diagonal scale. Before that, I would like to let you all know that first you need to work out the representation factor or it is also called as the synonym of this is nothing but the scaling factor. I am writing it in form of a ratio where x is nothing but here where x is equals to the length on the drawing. So, whatever the length we are going to draw plot on the drawing sheet is nothing but x dear students. So, this is nothing but the length on the drawing and whereas y equals to the actual length, the actual length of the object or which we are going to work out y equal to actual length of the object. Let the length of the object is given something for example, 20 meter which I cannot produce on the drawing sheet. So, I need to work out it belongs to whether a uh, enlarging scale or the reducing scale or a full size scale. Based on that I will be converting this RF to uh, in the similar units and then working out the length of the scale. This is the point which is very important for all of us to make a note that representation factor is also called as scale factor sometimes in your question paper or it is also called as representation factor or it is RF representation. It is given as x upon y, x is nothing but length on the drawing and y equal to actual length of the object. So, I do identify when x and y are given we are supposed to identify which one is x and which one is y and substitute here and calculate. Sometimes RF will be given directly like 1 is 200, 1 is to 200. So, there is no issue of working out the RF sometimes in the paper they will ask. This is for the length dear students. Now, for example, if it equation is in terms of area, then your RF is going to work out change into under root power x square and under root y square. We need to make this into the linear in order to work out the RF, we need to convert them into linear. So, whenever area is given, for example, here where x is nothing but the x square is all about area, like the question will be like the area on a map is or the road. Uh, the, the distance between two railway stations is. If such questions come in the paper, your RF need to be in terms of under root a square, under root x square and under root y square. This is all about the area dear students and the above one is only about the length measurement that is in centimeter and meter or decimeter. This is how you are supposed to identify whether it is an area given in the drawing sheet the question or it is only about the length. Sometimes they are going to ask you even the volume also. So, in liters they will be giving certain problems. So, you are supposed to work out that in this formula keeping the cube the root if the volume related questions are asked to work out the scale problem. So, this is all about x cube by y cube x cube is all about the volume dear students that is volume on drawing, volume on drawing whereas, drawing model or model and the y cube is all about the actual model. So, you need to identify once the statement is given without giving the RF which one is the actual and which one is the volume I mean the volume on the drawing actual as well. This is how you are supposed to work out RF of the scale. Once the RF of the scale is done, we are supposed to look at the, uh, uh, the sorry, you are supposed to look at the units of convergence. Now, what are the different units of convergence? I am going to give you in very just idea, very simply, there are different units, isn't it? Units of measurement to be known to each and every individual and you need to convert them. Before going to work out the units of measurement, a student should know 
whether it is a plane scale or a diagonal scale. Dear students, this is only for the students who are taking the exam. In the regular lectures, this will be explained in a different manner. It is also a shortcut method which I am going to explain. Please do concentrate. A plane scale is a scale which can read or measure only up to 2 units, 2 units dear students or a single unit, 1 unit or it can read maximum up to 2 units. The units may be the similar unit or the next consecutive unit. What are the consecutive units? I am going to discuss here for you and later we have the another scale as per the concepts that is all about the diagonal scale. Now, what is a diagonal scale? It is a scale which can read up to a maximum of 3 units. It is a scale which can read the maximum of 3 units. Again, the 3 units may be the similar units like meter, meter, meter or the different units, the 3 consecutive units. So, what are the consecutive units dear students? So, if you follow this table or the pattern which I am going to let you know and I also posted in my community post the unit, units of measurements. If you did not understand there, now here I am going to work out for you. The millimeter is the first unit, later it is to the centimeter, millimeter, centimeter, then later decimeter, then later meter. Please try to work out this and practice this if you are not aware of this. So, that is if such type of problem comes related to the diagonal scale or the plane scale, we should be aware of these units. This is the passion of the units like what is happening here is 1 centimeter equals to 1 centimeter equals to 10 millimeters dear students getting 1 centimeter equals to how many millimeters? 10 millimeters. Similarly, 1 decimeter equals to 1 decimeter equals to 10 centimeter. The preceding one you are going to get 10. Now, 1 meter equals to 10 decimeter. Here dm is nothing but decimeter dear students. dm is nothing but what? Decimeter. Now, dam is nothing but what? Decameter. dam is nothing but decameter. So, 1 decameter equals to 10 meters. The following preceding unit you are supposed to multiply with 10. So, that is 1 hectometer equal to 10 decameter and 1 kilometer equals to 10 hectometer. So, this box the units of measurement need to be worked out by you all to understand it very clear. So, we do not have all the time related to the length only we will have even in inches and we have even in foot also. Let us look into even that also. Now, when sometimes a problem related to the inch is given in the concept the problem and later from inch to feet and from feet to yard, from feet to yard. Getting dear students, the smallest one is what? Inch, then the feet, then the largest is the yard. So, how to work out this here is 1 feet is nothing but 12 inches dear students, you need to remember that. 1 feet is equals to 12 inches, you are supposed to work out and practice these things are related to the diagonal scale, they may ask on this a problem may be. So, 1 feet equal to 12 inches. Later, 1 yard equals to how many feet? 3 feet. 1 yard equals to 3 feet. I will write very clear for you all here once again. I mean 1 feet equals to 12 inches, 1 feet equals to 12 inches and 1 yard equals to 1 yard equals to how much? 36 inches, is not it? 1 yard equals to 36 inches. How? If you look here, 3 feet equal to how much? 3 feet equal to 1 yard. As I told that 1 yard equals to 3 feet and 1 feet equal to 12 inches, they ask sometimes in the problem 1 yard equals to how much? You need to multiply with this 3 to make it feet 2 inches. Getting? So, 1 yard equals to how much dear students? 36 inches. Now, they are asking you to convert into the centimeter for example. We need to remember even this also that 1 inch equals to how much dear students in centimeters? 2.54 centimeter. This is very important for us to work out the, uh, the length of the scale, when you work out the length of the scale. So, this is a passion of the units of measurement dear students. Please do work out this thing. 
centi millimeter to centimeter, then decimeter, meter, decameter, hectometer, and kilometer. This problem, as well as and related to even this inch to feet, feet to yard. So, when you work out this, that will be very easy for you all to uh, the put information in the examination when the scale problem is asked related to these all types of units. So, what we am going to do here is now in the next video, I am going to let you all know the problems related to the feet yard as well as even this a few problems were already done, but I will try to work out for you when a feet and yard is given and inch is given. Let us see how to work out such problems, it is all because they are going to focus problems related to that the diagonal scale or the plane scale. Hope you are going to like my videos and if you are looking for any other videos, please do subscribe to my channel to receive a latest notification as well as if you are looking for anything, please do put a comment in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe and like this video. Good luck and thank you.